Hey guys, quick review here. Unboxing sorts. I was at Lowe's and found the Jergesen's low angle block plane, which being a Lee Nielsen owner, I can tell you is pretty much a exact copy. Pretty close. Maybe not material wise, but design wise of their 101 and pretty much an exact copy of a Lee Nielsen low angle block plane the the, the casting on this one is, is a little different this kind of slick fast back design right here so far I've noticed that and the four inch smoother I did see where Rex talked about this one. And uh, he said didn't really matter if he said go out and buy it or not because he didn't know if you could go out and even buy it. But I walked in Lowe's and was, I knew about this, which I went online, so I knew this was in stock at Lowe's. But also due to my job, I'm in Lowe's a lot. So I just happened to look over and the shelf was full. There was, but they had been selling because there was only three of these left, four or five of these left, and just a couple of these left. So they had been selling. Here's this little guy. That's smooth. Pretty smooth. And forgive me if I'm not amazing at this. I don't do it a lot. I'm seeing oil already, so that's a good thing. For packaging purposes. It's a good, good sign. Here's their little blade. It says it's Pro 01, three millimeters blade. Got some arrow. Got some arrow on it. Well, look at that. That little tiny bed in there's been machined huh i wouldn't have guessed that i really wouldn't have. as small of a part as this is and it looks like the bottom's been ground so according to what i've heard though the rex did a thing where he threw this one and he said that the ductile iron was good that it took a chunk of his concrete out so this feels real nice just being honest, those threads are cut real pretty, which I know it's soaked in oil. I like that. So that later on, if this loosens out of the body, I can tighten it without having to grab it with a pair of pliers. So that's nice. This is also a nice little pair. This is also really nice. The knurling on this is really nice. I mean, it's grabby, grabby. Give my dirty hands, I'm a grader. So I'm in the dirt 24 seven. Really nice little part. So I like that. It's pretty, pretty smooth, and that's machined, and I can tell you that that's that is definitely stainless steel. Here's the cap. It looked like from in the packaging that this thing was going to be really, really poor and chintzy and stuff, but that's not. That's not bad. This this uh, it feels pretty good. Look at that. They even cast in there. Jurgensen. And this is also stainless, I can tell you that. And it's on a uh, a coarse thread. So it's quick. It's fast. Which is nice. And uh, here's the blade. Which again, I'm a Lee Nielsen owner. And uh, um, 
this is really, really, really close to their stuff. I'm not saying quality. I'm I'm just saying design wise so far. That blade's sharp, like out of the out of the package. I mean, it's grabbing pretty good. That I would I'm gonna try that just right out of the package. Uh, this is a American made brown and sharp. And I've tested this at City Machining on a granite plate. And uh, that's that's very very flat. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is flat. This is. Not saying everything else will be. This is. And uh, I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna do what Rex did. He took these, took his blades, and checked it and all that. And we will maybe with the bigger one, but with this, this little guy, I think we might have got lucky here. Um. Now here's the kicker. Here's the here's the cool the, the best part about this one. And I, I'm blown away. I'm gonna get out the row seats right now. Uh really cool. This plane is fourteen bucks and ninety nine cents, and this one thirty four dollars. I think my hmm, can't remember. I think my Lee Nielsen was oh well over a hundred dollars, well over a hundred, and I think this little guy was from Lee Nielsen was I think I give maybe eighty. So for fifteen dollars, nice. <laughs> and we'll we'll try to get some wood with this one just a second. See if we can't get a shaving out of it. Next up on the bench is this guy. Now I know that there are people out there that think. Well, if I buy it, I should be able to just take it straight out of the package and use it. Well, yeah, I mean, yes, I, I can agree with that. So that's what we're going to try to do. Get this in here. Let's see. Let's see if this thing's functional for $30. That's nice. This is some heavy knurling, man. Um, thirty bucks. What do I think about it? I'll tell you right now, as you can tell. It's 100%, like I've said a hundred million times, a Lee Nielsen knockoff. Stainless, that's cool. Blade, super thick, really cool. The blade on this one is also, they claim to be three millimeters thick and Pro 01 tool steel. Also, Surfaces are machined. On this one, we've also got the uh, the little place for a screwdriver, flathead. That's cool. Uh, heavy knurled knob, really nice knob again. I like this. I like this. Uh, the one on the little plane, that's been tumbled, which is what Lee Nielsen does to theirs. They put them in a tumbler afterwards. 
and, and it keeps the nar- the knurling sharp enough to, to bite, but it also takes off all the imperfections and stuff and makes it look, gives it that nice satin look. That, I can tell you, has been tumbled. This, this one. This one has not. That's not been tumbled. This has been, that is stainless steel, but no, nah, it, it has not been tumbled. Um, but as you can see, that's slick too. Uh, I barely, maybe, just maybe feel something with my fingernail, but not really. If that makes any sense, <laughs> uh, this is nice. I don't feel anything at all. I think I feel one little line right there on this one. Yeah, one little teeny weeny one. I can I can barely even get my finger on it. The orange paint is absolutely hideous. I mean that is just ugly, ugly. Um. The first shortcoming, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Now, for $30, I would still buy this plane. But I'm going to go over real quick the first shortcoming to me. And it may not be one for everybody. And, And maybe... If I used it more, maybe once we use it and stuff, it'll free up. But this 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 is kind of okay, it's already freed up. It's already freed up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and advance the blade. I'm gonna back this off. Lever cap, I'm gonna advance the blade down to right when we get a cut. This, hold on. Hmm, maybe not. This might be garbage. Hmm. Oh, nice. It, this is going to tighten right up to the blade. I did not even expect that. I went ahead and I threw I threw that front, throat, whatever you want to call it. I forget. I threw it right up on the up tightest setting because I did not think that out of a plane for this price. Because, you know, my Stanley don't even, my Stanley Sweetheart block plane will not even do that. But it will. It'll come right up on the blade. Man, that's a, that's for this money. That is good. Look at that. Oh my god. Ooh. And look, look at this. You can't even. You can't even see. daylight man between the blade and that plate I mean just barely it's a slither that's nice so they got a win on that for 30 bucks I, I don't care I don't care if you have to flatten it or whatever and look right here there's nothing there's nothing I had to flatten that out on a Stanley 100 hundred dollars 120 bucks something like that Stanley had to flatten this out right here. It wouldn't even, it, the machine surfaces didn't mate. On this, they mate perfect, perfect. I don't feel anything. So I'm gonna back the blade back out, retract it. Of 
cool. Tighten the cap up. I'm gonna check this one just real quick with a straight edge and a light, which I know doesn't tell the whole story. I'm just gonna see. That's looking pretty good to me. That that's flat. I mean that is flat, flat. Oh yeah. Yep. And then I got some plates here. So I'm gonna throw them on a plate too, real quick. Just to see. But so far, so good. And the reason why I'm just putting these back together and not measuring all this crap, measuring stuff is is because I want to see what they do just right out of the box. I mean, what what you're going to get. And Rex even said that there, there may be, at the time that he had his, that maybe the reason why he couldn't find any other ones is because maybe his was a promo or something, or demo. So here we go. I do have the same problem he had. One problem he had was his tote, his rear tote was loose on mine is too. But no big deal, I have a screwdriver. And he said something about he had to put a washer in there or something. It says that this is beach. I'd say that's beach. I I mean I ain't, a, I ain't the expert of everything there is to know about everything, but I'd say it's beach. I'll tell you one thing. If this ain't flat, my God, that's beautiful machining. I mean, that, that looks just like the machining that comes on Molly Nielsen's and stuff when I get them. And uh, um, I keep saying Lee Nielsen. I've got some other planes and stuff that's kind of considered high end, I guess. Veritas stuff like that, but that that's kind of like a benchmark for a lot of people. I've noticed being on be on groups and stuff in li online. So these these are sharp. Take a take a file and break those. They're sharp, but that's no big deal. That's no big deal. Lever cop. Let's start with you, buddy. There you go. Check that out. This is aluminum. But it's still it's still chunky. I mean, this I love. This is huge. And I like this. I do. Snap caps are cool. It is what it is. You know what I mean? Whatever you like. Well, you know. And and I've heard the argument from um Rob about how this is a different tension setting every time you use it. But I'll show you what Tay Tools. I bought some Tay Tool planes. I didn't even review them. Uh, it, it, that's a sad song, you know, that they were so close to having something. I, I know Rex was like, all oh, these guys are so close to having something so good, but they missed the mark and this and that. But there was just some things that, that literally um, – was like, why would you cheap out right here on this, on the Tay tools that I have? I made them work and stuff, but I can tell you that he talked about spending 15 minutes flattening the sole on this. Not this, but the one he had like. I spent three hours on a Starrett lapping plate. Yeah. Starting off with... Um, like one hundred and some grit so yeah this is super intelligent what brought me to talking about the um tay tools the one that i have this is flat so when you go to tighten it because it's flat it causes the blade to start to walk around like this this being flat or this having a dome shape right here is smart and it's stainless steel. I can tell you that. It's not been tumbled. Um, but the machining and the knurling is beautiful. 
really nice part. This you have to be careful with. I'll go ahead and tell you, but this thing is $60. So take it for so far. Um, I, I hate to keep bringing up Rick's name. He's a great guy. I buy stuff from him all the time. Uh, buy his t-shirts, his plans. But I, I think that maybe, I don't know if he made his video a while back. I know he released it like six or seven days ago. But, and I get, I get that what he's saying about people having money and, and, you know, stuff like that. And it, it's always a tough time, always for a lot of people. Um, but when you look at the consumer market, don't look at what people's making. You look at the uh, uh, salary wise, you look at the consumer market. Um, you can't take your wife out to Texas Roadhouse anymore and your kid for 60 bucks. So this is literally cheaper than a steak dinner. You know, um, so keep to me, it's like, I'm trying to get it out in the right words. I don't have a whole lot of money by no means, but at the same time, if you look around the world today, $60 is not, it might be, a, it might be a lot to make, you know, to scratch up from dirt, but it sure ain't a lot to spend. So I think I finally got my point across. Um, this is so far, every, so far what I'm seeing, I like, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with this cat. It will. It probably would be the first thing to go down the road, probably. But I'll tell you this: if you've got all the machining and everything done the way it should be done, and the lapping done and everything, which none of this stuff's probably been lapped, and that's fine. But for me, I don't mind doing it. This don't have to be Godzilla type. You would be surprised at the tension that that little snap makes that everybody loves on a Stanley. It, it ain't what you think. And you, and it would blow your mind at how much tension that makes. It, it, and I'm not saying this is better by no means. And, and I do think that that's kind of the point behind the snap is not only the speed, but that keep, to prevent people from over tightening them. Which you can still do it with a screw. He said this wouldn't fit the screw. Let's see. Mine fits. Look on this. Now let's check the lever cap. He said it wouldn't fit the lever cap. Let's see. Let's see if they fixed it. Look, mine fits. So Rex, I hope you watch this video, bud, because maybe you emailed them yours, and this is they had a. <laughs> I don't know, but they've had time to fix some things because mine fits just fine. And uh, you can see I didn't do anything to this. But this being an aluminum part, I don't know that I would want to use it for that all the time. <clears throat> this is stainless. I think. Can't I can't I can't be definite on that. I don't I don't want to be quoted, but I'm pretty sure this is stainless. Yeah, it is. The blades, well, they're stuck together like a hot dog. So that's a good thing, but they got enough oil on them. They could have had 5,000 scap and they would have stuck together. Packs. This is exactly the machine. I like to see. You see that undercut right there? That's nice. And that that thing, that thing is a heck just a chip breaker just about shaved with. I hope that this is good. I, I I mean I really hope that that's good. Here's the blade. Everything's soaked in oil. That's another thing that was odd. Unless he did it off camera, I don't recall his being soaked in oil. Blade's pretty. It's sharp. 
And for everybody saying, oh, he's saying it's short, but then his finger over this and that, I, I'm going up. And I'm going across like this. I'd like to see him do that with my plane, but plane iron. Okie dokie. Well, I probably, if, if I could see a mirror reflection on that thing, I probably wouldn't do that. But no, it does not have a mirror polish. But I bet it's sharp enough to take shading. So we're going to see. I, I'm putting all this back together. I'm not. I'm not even wiping oil off. I'm not doing anything. I just want to see. And, and I'm putting, I, look, I'm even going to try to get this, this back in the same spot. Which I'm, I'm positive that they didn't go around teaching people how to set up planes at the shop or at the factory in China. But we'll see. And I'm going to tighten it up with the lever cap. See how much gap is in this right here? I can tell you that that was a huge problem for me with the one from K Tools. This wasn't flat. The chip breaker wasn't flat, and I didn't have enough spring to flatten it. I mean, it was literally pretty much touching right here. And before somebody says, T Tools are amazing. If you're willing to put in the work, you know, and I'm talking work, they're they're okay, they're okay. And, and the weird part is, I went through three. I went through three four and a half smoothers from Tay Tools. Jay Bates said that he bought one and it was great. This is what I was excited to see. Check this out. This is a three piece part, stainless steel. It's been tapped with screw machine screws, ball bearing for lateral adjustment. I think that's that's what they're called lateral adjustment. And this is a a what Rex thinks is a centered powdered part and it very well could be I I don't think so maybe let me check let me check I'll tell you I'm going to tell you, and for anybody wondering, this is this old Buck Brothers tool that I'm making. I don't want you guys to go, oh my God, I hear all this crazy technology. Mm. If this was stainless, let me get, hold on a minute. Let me get my little file set. <laughs> This is my old set from work at a previous job. It is. Centered steel, which ain't a bad thing. You know, I'll, I'll bet this is nice. If you look at the adjuster, it's tight in there. I can move it this way, which is fine. I don't care about that. I mean, there's no. Let me go up here so you'll see what I'm saying. Yeah, there's. There's no play up and down. It fits tight in there. Perfect, perfect. That's that's great, great. And that's not a bent piece of freaking cheap metal. That is nice. The adjusters, you won't have any problem adjusting this plane. I like it. Stainless steel screws, stainless steel screws. It's a nice plane. I'm gonna put this one back together. And then we're going to take shavings. Come back. See the next video.